Man, that Yeezy, that Yeezy documentary, that, that stuff right there is like so motivating, inspirational stuff, man. Like, I'm not trying to promote nobody's stuff, but man, that stuff is good. Like, I, I, I can't, I'm like anticipating the next episode. It's like how people like Euphoria. I don't understand how people like Euphoria, I'm not gonna lie, but. It's the same thing. I've been waiting. I'll wait for that next episode. But today, your boy Easy Breezy E A E is going to San Antonio by himself. I'm so lonely. I have nobody. Kay's not uh, joining us today. She got a cat today. And it's crazy. Is I'm allergic. I wish I had pictures to show y'all, but my eyes like puff up by like, it's it's bad, like it's bad. And it it it's quick. Oh, he needs God. some milk. Yep. It's the first time in a while that I've gone to San Antonio by myself. We'll see how this goes, you know. <laughs> I don't wanna do this. It's good. <laughs> Alright, dang. I always get the bad side. Anyways, we made it to uh uh, SA, UTSA. Like I said, this time I'm lonely. I don't got nobody with me. I'm solo lobo today. Over there, where I parked, there was two guys working on the same car. And they were working out of a, a Tahoe, like a SUV, like, like a black SUV. Two guys working on the same car. The wheel was off and the other one was in the engine. I don't know if I see somebody putting someone's shit on bricks or if <laughs> somebody's actually really working on that car. Like they didn't have no certification, no like they don't like the, there was no truck. They was working out of a, a, a truck, a Tahoe. Like I, I think somebody's shit is getting put on bricks. So I just put my shit on the other side and I said, yeah. Don't even look at my stuff. I was like, there's a charger here, there's a truck, there's a there's all there's a Mustang. Like look at all these cars first. Before you even think about touching mine. I was like, mine not even, I was like, I, mine not even fast. I was like, my tires suck. I was like, so <laughs> I think I'm gonna be good. Man, it's, this right here, there's like, see that? They just be popping out. Like that, that shit's scary, bro. Make no sense. And fuck it, we run it, we run it, we run it. Ah! I like the fact that I can carry this camera around. And I have to worry about nobody because I don't know a single soul out here. I mean, I'm pretty sure I know some people who moved out here, but I'm too lazy to even find out. Like, it's not, I'm fine being by myself out here. Like, I mean, I am, but at the same time, I'm not. I don't know. We'll see how the day goes. It's a nice day. Lately, it's been nice days. Like yesterday was sunny, today is sunny. We all by myself. This is like the first day. But the first day when I got here, it was like super muggy, super cold, super like oh it wasn't it wasn't it. Like like right now, like I see a lot more people here today. The drive here was nice, like no traffic. I was just coasting, going the speed limit. I was going the speed limit. And uh we here, we on campus, living life, doing our thing. These earbuds suck, man. Don't clown me because I got the wires. I have AirPods, they just suck. And man, man, I'm about to get, man, I need some beats or something. I Two hours later. But I was the first class, not gonna lie, I <laughs> fell asleep. Uh, but I mean, that class is pretty easy, so I'm not worried about that. I'm gonna find out where some food at. Cause I'm starving. Can I eat all day one thing today? Honestly, this might be the most people I've ever seen on this campus. I got me some Asian sushi place. I don't know what it's called, but I got it last time. It was pretty good. Cheap too. They give you this little, I don't know, buzzer thing like as if it's a real restaurant. So boring by myself. I'm not gonna lie, it's so boring. Oh shit. I got me my spicy mayo. 
y'all, okay, I'm gonna shake it up to So it's like, it's like beef. I don't know, but it's just rice. A lot of rice. It's, man, I'm telling y'all, this shit is good. Bro. This is good. Yeah, bye, bye, bye. Nice. That's my teacher for tonight. I don't know. He got beat up last night, I guess. <laughs> he got knocked up. <laughs> Doing my homework. <laughs> Got nothing else to do. Being a good student. Wow. <laughs> Who would have thought? All right. Well, headed to my next class, finance. I was just doing the homework right now, and I know that stuff is like totally wrong but I'm not even worried because it's just a completion grade and he's gonna go over it sooner or later I mean this last test I got a 60 which I'm low-key surprised so I mean <laughs> hey C's make degrees and I'm pretty sure D's do too I don't get it I come and talk to the mm, I come and talk to the professor because I have a 14 out of 30 for this problem set that I did all the work for. I did the only thing I didn't do was send in the balance sheet, send in the fucking income statement, send in the the cash flow statement. Like y'all probably don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. But like the only thing is, I didn't send in those things because I didn't think we needed to send them in. There was no need for me to send in all these income, all these spreadsheets because it didn't make any sense to me. Because he, all he needed were my calculations. That's all he needed to give me a grade. Other people I worked with, who I, other people who I compared work with, 30 out of 30. But yet, somehow, I got a 14 out of 30, so I come and talk to him and said, hey, this doesn't make no sense. Why is it they got a 30 out of 30, I got a 14? And he's like, why well, are they in your group? And I'm like, no, I just compared answers. And I was like, all we did was compare answers. I was like, you're saying that the balance sheet and all this is all different from time to time, and it changes over and over, but yet we had the same fucking answers. It don't make no sense. How did it all change all every day if, this, if we had the same answers? We were doing the same work. I don't get it. But yet, then I'm like, okay, well, I have them right here. I was like, you want me to turn them in for you? You want me to send them to you? I'll send them to you right now. Is this, that's why I got half of my grade deducted because I didn't send you a couple of spreadsheets that you could look at yourself. That you can go online and look at yourself. You gave us the, the fucking document to go look at them for ourselves. Like, why can't you just go look at them yourself? I don't get why I have to be penalized for not sending them into you. That don't make no sense. Ooh, this is a bad idea. Like, I don't get, bro. I don't get it, bro. The, uh, the thing that, like, he's like, I'm your professor. I'm not your friend. I said, well, I know that. I don't care if you're my friend or not. I was like, you're just not working with me. I was like, you're not giving me any leeway, no nothing. I was like, I am trying my best. I am doing what you asked me to. I was like, I have four other classes. I was like, I drive from here to fucking, I, I drive an hour and 30 away. I was like, he's like, well, I drive from Houston every day. I was like, this is your only drive. You have no other choice. I was like, I don't live here. He's like, I don't either. He's like, you drive, he's like, I drive every day. Okay, but you're not worried about all these other classes. You're not doing homework for four or five different classes. If I fail this class, bro, well, I gotta drive home now. I'm, I'm pissed. <laughs> Damn. It's cold. But hopefully this music will calm me down. I don't know what else to tell you because he, bro, like, I don't get, like, why do you treat your students like straight shit? I'm not your friend. I know I'm not your friend. I don't give a, like, that shit was just, like, it's uncalled for, man. As a teacher, you should not be telling me I'm not your friend. Nobody wants you to be my friend, bro. I'm here asking you questions, trying to make you understand why you gave me a 14. I want to know just as much as you should know. I'll see y'all when I get home, man. Made it home. And, uh, food was ready. He some, uh, what is this, like shrimp alfredo, I guess you could say. No, it's not alfredo. Anyway, it's shrimp, shrimp pasta. But, Kay got a cat. Let's see if you can, can you even see it? What's your flat, you have a flashlight? Yeah. She's just a little spooked because she's not comfortable with Ethan. Ooh. See that bright, turn it off. She doesn't like it. That's Kay's cat. And I'm allergic to cats. So, um, 
if the next clip is me with puffy eyes sneezing or something, you know why. It's her fault. Let me pull up. We on man is not around. I just got back in town, baby girl. Flight just touched down. 